everyone, this is Sherlock Holmes and... Sweet Tooth Sweetie! And today we have a very special review. We are now reviewing the new wave of Finance of Freddy's action figures. Yes, we finally found them. Yep, we got all of them right here. As you can see, we got new characters such as the Nightmares like Nightmare Freddy, Nightmare Bonnie, Nightmare Chica, Nightmare Foxy. And we got a new character who's not a nightmare, but a Foxy! Yes, it's going to be very, very special review and we're all very excited so let's look at them individually and let us uh, open them up and take a look yeah so before these we open them up let's take a look at the package as you can see it's sort of the same thing as the originals or the other figures there has five the phrase collectible articulate action figure got, got these at GameStop um, they had them all there for what we could see we got Nightmare Freddy here with his little freddle in there oh my gosh and you get, if you collect them all, you get to build your own night Marion and et, or Marion, whatever you want to pronounce Maron. that. Marion. It's Maron. the nightmare version of the puppet. Yeah. Look on the back, we have all the characters. We have Nightmare Chica, Nightmare Bonnie, Nightmare Freddy, Nightmare Foxy, Funtime Foxy, and if you get all five, you can build your nightmare More puppet. Your yeah, puppet. Yeah, they all come with a piece to build, just like how the originals came with to build Springtrap. And we'll do comparisons with the other and see how they look. And uh, we'll, if you want to see, know if we're going to review Jack Chica, we already did that on our channel. Yeah. Uh, there will be a link in the description or go to our channel and find it. It's a really good review. It's just a quickie. And uh, let's uh, let's open these up right off, starting with Nightmare Freddy. Okay, so tell everyone now, each figure does come in a nice clamshell packaging to keep them from getting damaged while in shipment or at the store or whatever. So that's really nice that they included that. But anyways, here we have a look at Nightmare Freddy. Mm-hmm. And uh, this figure is actually really nicely detailed. Um, looks like Freddy from the game. There are a few, uh, I think a few weird things about him, but he's still cool nonetheless. Like, if you can see here on the face, uh, it's, it's Nightmare Freddy. He has the little orange eyes and his hat's all tore up. I wish it was, his hat was kind of hollow in there, but you see it does have the details of the tears and the wires sticking out. His ears, one ear is like completely chewed off. It looks like a cookie. Yeah, he, he kind of looks like a chocolate chip cookie, doesn't it? It looks like someone took a bite, like went up to him and went like, ow! Yeah, it's uh, pretty weird. But uh, yeah, he has his teeth in there, and uh, you can see a little bit of the endoskeleton inside. His arms are all torn up, he has the needle hands like everyone else. Who are uh, nightmare. Yeah, who are nightmares. It seems like uh, this one right here though is more rounded than the others actually. Uh, so he is, like, he... Oh, I did not notice that. Yeah. Uh, I wish his uh, chest was a little bit more hollow so you could like uh, put this guy inside of him, but uh, I, I don't know. That would have been cool to have. And his feet are showing his little uh, endo toes inside. Back of him is all nicely detailed as well. And if you look at theirs, he has like dirt on him, little paint apps, and it's uh, really nice. Now, articulation is pretty much this as the same as anyone else. You know, you got the uh, head, the neck, um, the arms do move all the way around. They're not restricted by the little shoulder stuff like the other animatronics. His hands do fully rotate here. And uh, he included a waist on all of the Nightmare animatronics, which I do love. We, we needed that with the original. I think it added a really nice, uh, what do you call it? Uh, touch? Yeah, like, like a nice little touch of articulation to display them in a way you would like. And his hips, their, their legs go out further than the others, which I really do think is another improvement on them. And their knees, eh, their knee, his knee is not so much. No ankle movement, unfortunately. But you do see uh, really nice details in them all the way around. It's uh, really, really nice. So that's the figure of Nightmare Freddy. Now, now let's go to his accessories! He comes with a little baby Nightmare Freddy, or Freddle, as the community calls him. Oh. He's actually really nicely detailed. He's, he's kind of cute, a little. I like these things. And I also hate them. I like them because they're cute, and I hate them because if they go in your bed... Like, he, he, this guy comes and kills you. Yeah, if you don't catch them. If all three of them are on your bed and if you don't see them, 
He'll get you. No, Danny, I love you. Um, yeah, this is pretty much the day. I call this Papa, Papa Freddy because he has a little Freddy babies. the father. My only complaint is that he didn't come with three of them. Because if you want to like to be, be accurate like a game, you got to get three Nightmare Freddy's to get three of these guys. It's, it's kind of annoying. That's but, what I wanted to do. Yeah, I his. wanted to get uh, three Nightmare Freddy's and just take the Freddles out of the packaging. I guess, but... Just take them. Um, as we can see here, uh, he does have little teeth. He has his little white pupils. He has a little top hat, which is funny. Uh, no bow tie. Nope. Uh, I'm not sure if he had a bow tie in the game. I'll have to double check. Uh, he has two toes, which is weird for a bear. Yes, oh. me. Mm. It's kind of weird. Um, in his hand, he's like in the same position like Golden Freddy was in the first game. And uh, as you can see, Freddy, uh, can, he can hold him. It's just that he can't like grip him or anything like that. He just, he just like holds him in his like little hand, and he's just like, "All right, son, let's go to the park if you can sit on my hand." <laughs> oh, baby, I'm your father. Wait, maybe I can have him like cradle him. Can he? I love you, Daddy. Can I do that? Can, can we do this? Oh, he, he can. If you do it just right, you can balance him on. I can never seem to do this right. Let me try. Oh no. There you go. <gasps> so you can see he's holding the sun. And the other thing he comes with is the leg. It looks like a strip of black licorice. It is kind of weird, but it is uh, it is him. The knees on the Nightmare Marionette do not uh, bend. bend, which is I think is kind of a disappointment. But we'll get into his articulation later. You can see the little ball socket for uh, when you put them together. And it could be like a cane for it. Literally, from this, it looks like a cane that he would have, but it's not. It's a leg, so... Yeah, that's Nightmare Freddy, and uh, he's a win for sure, especially if you, uh, since you get the little baby with him. Uh, the little baby is adorable. I just wish you could put him inside his chest, like in the games, but, oh well, it's, uh, it's, you get what you get. Right. And Nightmare Freddy is definitely a win, so let's check out uh, Nightmare Bonnie next and uh, see what we get with him. Yeah, let's do that. Here's Nightmare Bon Bon! Yeah, uh... Nightmare Bonnie's, I think, uh, is probably one of the more unique ones, I think. Though, just because of his eyes. His eyes are really creepy. They look like there's white, the yellow dots, it's kind of weird. He has, like, little wires coming out, which look like whiskers. His teeth, he has, like, a little chin thing going on. You can see his entire chest has been busted up with little wires. His red bow tie. Well, yeah, yeah, like, oh, hey, I'm friendly, not. Um, and he has some really nice uh, things in the game, like, as you can see, hit most of his hand right here is exposed, revealing all those little fingers and things like that. His uh, his legs are all nice, and he's even missing an entire foot, like in the, uh, like, what, in FNAF 2? Um, which I think is a nice little detail. And uh, his ears are in already in, like, a bent position. Wish you could ter still move them, would have been cool. And the back is all nice and cracked and stuff like that. Um, articulation is pretty much the same thing, you know, head, neck. Uh, his head's a little stiff, it's like you can't look down all the way, so mine's kind of like stuck looking up a little bit. But it's not too bad. I can live with it. Uh, he still has his waist, ooh, this is kind of stiff, ugh. Um, is everything on Bon Bon stiff? No, he's, he's nice and uh, loose in most parts, he's, he's not too... It's not too stiff, what I'm trying to say, but it's really strong, and I like having that on my figures, so they're nice and built, like, strong. And the ball joints are really nice and loose, but not too loose, so he's not flopping all over the place. And, uh, yeah, still a really good figure, and he's like, you know, I'm get, I really like putting him in this position where you can, like, get him ready to pounce, and he's like, Ugh. Or, can I make him... No, I can't. I, I was going to try and make him dab. He, he can't. Dab. But he can, like, you know, get ready to stalk some kids. Alright, what does he come with for, with him? Well, he comes with nothing. Because in the game, he didn't come with an accessory. Uh, that's kind of disappointing. Would have loved for him to come with something. But he does come with a leg for Nightmare Unit, which is, again, really nice. Left leg details. or right leg? Uh, either leg. It doesn't matter. But um, it's really nicely detailed. You can see how the leg is a little swirly. And a little stub there for the feet and ball socket, that's about it. Oh yeah, Nightmare Bonnie's really cool. Uh, probably more creepier with because of this those eyes stand out 
But to me, he's the scariest one out of all the figures. Yeah, I think he is too. So that's it for him. And uh, let's check out Nightmare Chica. And here we have Nightmare Chica. Very yeah. creepy. Yeah. So we're going to move in closer to her. And as you can see, she has two different colored eyes. Yeah. It's 3D glasses. Yeah, they look like 3D glasses. She's she's pretty cool. I love. She has 3D vision. Yeah. That is freaking awesome. It's pretty cool. Uh, as you can see, uh, she does have her teeth molded in there. There's nothing really but black plastic in there, so it looks like the mouth is hollow. It's kind of distracting if you look at from the side, but you know, up front it doesn't look too bad. Um, you can see her teeth are all nicely painted. This of them right here could have been a little better, but you know, what are you gonna do? Looks like she ate some candy and her teeth fell out her bib is all ripped and um, she you can see she's holding her cupcake 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 her crazy little nightmare cupcake which unfortunately does not cannot remove it's like I don't know if it's molded or glued in place but it, it's it's in her it's hand it's probably molded so it looks like in this position she it looks like she's sort of like holding like ready to like, take a bite out of it but nah. it, it's still creepy nonetheless like just holding that thing so how are we supposed to get the whole detail around the cupcake if we, you know... Well, uh, you know, saves money. Costs money. But the cupcake is uh, really nicely detailed all the way through. It's still very cool. Little candle. Very nice, very nice. And her other arm is just, you know, just a hand. Nothing too bad. Uh, still has a waist. Ooh, it's tight, but... Ooh. Very, I think uh, you cracked something. I didn't crack something. Everything's fine. Her waist is very nice. Um, she doesn't have any uh, knee things on her legs like the uh, others. Like her legs are more exposed, little chicken legs, and you can see she her feet's all withered and whatnot. Yep. Uh, the Chica figure is very very cool. Definitely one of my favorite of the nightmares. Very awesome. Hold that cupcake. Gonna throw it at you. Gonna throw it at you, you nerd. Yeah. It's very cool. Um, she comes with the entire body of Nightmare Rianette. Quit whining. Grow up. Um, I did. Yeah. As uh, we can see here, the face is creepy but awesome. Has the black tears streaming down, black lips. The teeth are really nice. Um, uh, yeah, the, the face is very nicely. Yeah, it has the ribs. It has the ribs. It's very thin. We're gonna see a lot of Jack Skellington from Nightmare Before Christmas. That does not remind me of Jack Skellington. Uh, the only thing that's weird is it has uh, the, you know, legal shablomal on its booty. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Now, the first thing I noticed right when I tried, when I took this thing out of the box, this, his head does not move whatsoever. That is a real, real disappointment because everyone else head turns except him. That's kind of a disappointment to me, but you know, it's not it's not that big a deal. But you know what? Oh, ah! you know what? Still very creepy piece nonetheless. But uh, yeah, Jacko Chica's articulation. You know, I, like I said, the way smooth it turns here, the head does. It's a little the head's a little restricted due to the shoulders, but not think too much. The arms are, used, are kind of restricted as well, but not too bad. It still turns. Uh, you know. Everything's a ball joint except for the wrists. And it's uh, very nice, yes. Her legs are kind of eh, too. But uh, her legs are very nicely uh, articulated, especially around here. So, still, still very cool. So, for me, this is a definite win. Nightmare Chica is a definite awesome figure to have in your Fight the Phrase collection, or any figure collection if you're interested in monsters and whatnot. Still, very cool. I'm a bit disappointed that the cupcake can't come out of her hand, because if the cupcake could, you could have put it on her shoulder. That, like in the teaser? Yeah. That would have been a really nice touch, but, you know, that, uh, money. But, you know, it's not bad. I, I am happy they include the cupcake at least. Not, not a bad figure, definitely a win. So put her right there, and uh, let's take a look at the... New other nightmare, which is Nightmare Foxy. And, and here's Nightmare Foxy. 
Yeah, this is a pretty awesome looking dude. Um, starting off with his face. It's all cracked right here, kind of representing his eye patch, which he does not have one. Nope. Uh, his yeah, eyes his, are exposed. Yeah, his ears, though. These ears are really nicely done. Nice little tearing of black wires. A little bit cracked in the back of the head and a little on his cheeks, especially right there. It's kind of cool. Um, well, the lighting's kind of weird. I apologize if the lighting is going to be... Yeah, it's changing. I'm sorry about that. Um, his uh, muzzle is very nice. Very, you can see the little ridges. That's exposed, too. Yep. Um, his nose. Very nice. Um, his teeth. His jaw is kind of weird looking, but uh, I can see through it. His teeth are very frightening. His torso is all, uh, like in a muscular way, just like the everyone else's. Except Chica, she's a bit fat. Um, his waist, I mean, probably the most free and most articulated figure out of all of them. I think so, because his limbs are so loose and so not restricted by anything. He can get into a lot of really cool poses, I think. You can see he comes with his hook, which is big and beefy. Even his... I was gonna say, like, could his hook turn for a minute? I thought the hook could move for a second. I thought it did, but it just might be me. Isn't the hook sharper in the fourth game? Yeah, but they have to round it up for, you know, kids. Uh. So it's not as sharp as it is in the game, but it's still cool. See, it's really big. Oh, uh, he has his hand right here, which is big, beefy hand. But I kind of wish they, they could, uh, I wish they all had, like, different hand sculpts, so they weren't the same, but you know, whatever. I can, I can deal with it. Um, his legs can go all the way out, all the way out back. Well, they kind of turn at a weird angle, but it's not too much. And his legs, like Nightmare Chica's, are really articulated, so all kinds of stuff. And he, his legs are very nicely detailed. He's really sharp, want, like, things, like needles for toes. Oh, man. I'm just sad that, that it looks like there's, like, they molded, like, it looks like joints in his ankles, which I wish his feet could turn, then. This figure, I think, would be probably the best, uh, most articulated. But, uh, you know, whatever. Like I said, not bet too much. He's still very, very cool. To, uh, very cool. Yeah. Nightmare Foxy, definitely a win. And he comes with a arm for Night Marionette. Which um, says no articulation whatsoever. Yeah, um... But his fingers are kind of flexible, but I wouldn't flex them too much or they might break. Very creepy hands, nonetheless. They look like tentacles. Yeah, they do like tentacles, don't they? Um, still very cool. Um, yeah, Nightmare Foxy is definitely a win here. Definitely recommended. Um, probably the probably the best figure out of them all, I think. I'm, I'm not too sure, but he's starting to gain. He's starting to grow on me, so. Probably one of the best figures of the year. Now let's move on to our last, but not final, uh, figure, Funtime Foxy. Yeah, let's move on to Funtime Foxy. Here is Funtime Foxy slash Mangle. All put together. Slash Toy Foxy slash... Adventure Foxy. Whatever. This thing is the most shiny most white figure I probably own. Just the paint. It looks very shiny and very cute, I guess. Well, it is, um, a toy. Anyways. Um, but before we want to let you know, uh, before we go in, I just want to be do you hear something? I'm not, listen closely. I'm not sure if you can hear this, but it, it sounds like there's, like, something inside of her. Yeah, it looks like it, something is supposed to snap. I'm not sure what, but something inside of her, which I think is this, is weird. I'm not sure if it's her, inside her tail or is it inside her body, but something in there snapped. And I'm not sure what it is, but it's like a rattle. So uh, let me know in the comment section below if you have the same problem. But I don't know. Anyways. Funtime Foxy is great. Um, starting off with the face. You see the ears, all nice. She's all pink and white. Um, very nice yellow eyes. The I, eyelashes... The, the eyelashes could have been painted they a little look like better. eyebrows. Yeah, if you only look they're really... They're attack eyebrows. If you look really closely, you can see their eyelashes, but I wish they could have painted a little better, but oh, what are you going to do? 
Um, got the rosy cheeks, like the other toy animatronics, the lips, the teeth, the bow tie, which is really nice, really big bow tie. The arms, the belly, the, I guess you can call it underwear, I don't know. Shorts. Her tail, really nice, it's not articulated, but we'll get into articulation in a minute. Little pink top right there. And what her legs are white with little pink toes. And that is it for articulation, oh, not articulation, ugh. Details on Funtime Foxy, she's very bright. Um, mm -hmm. For articulation, as you can see here, the head does, will go all the way around freely. Her arms are very articulated like uh, the regular Foxy. Oh, I think even more. Um, yeah, shoulders right here, elbows, very nice. And the hands is very, the hand is also very nicely detailed, just want to point that out. Very nice. She has five fingers. Oh yeah, that's weird. All the toys have four fingers. Why does she have five? Oh my gosh, that's interesting. Oh no. Um, I think they made a... Uh, something happen. Um... Uh, alternate universe! <laughs> uh, uh, non-canon! This is non-canon! Um, yeah. The hook is, uh, I think it's the same as Foxy. I don't know. We'll bring them out, the others out for comparison for the video, but the hook is very nice. Done in silver. Ooh, metallic -y. She's gonna get you. Um, first she's gonna hook you, and then eat you. No. No, she wouldn't do that. She's not fun time Foxy from Sister Location. Yeah, but... Or is she? I don't know. But, uh, very nicely detailed. I guess the only complaint here are the legs. These legs are not going anywhere. They're like... They the are first wave. Yeah, these I uh, these things are not gonna get you anywhere. You're pretty much you should just stick with them, staying perfectly straight on a stage. These legs are not gonna move. They're they have joints in them. Don't get me wrong, they have ball joints, but they're not going anywhere, and you cannot move them. I'm sorry, but this you can, but I don't want to ruin the paint on her short shorts. I guess just I wouldn't recommend it. Just, just be careful, I guess, when you're trying to pose her, but the legs are not moving, except, you know, at moving like this. This is how her legs are going to move. That's about it. Hmm. But is it a bad figure? No. It's very, very cool. It's very nice to finally have, like, a mangle figure, but um, that's, you know, fixed. But I kind of wish she, uh... Had more articulation? Well, not only in the legs, but I wish we actually had an actual mangle figure, like... What you could like take apart, put together in like many different ways. Which reminds me, can I? Yes. Don't you think about it! Rip her apart! No! <laughs> no okay, I'll, I won't. I won't. I won't do that. But... If you do that, I will kill you. Shut up. Shut up. Okay. Mm. So yeah, Nightmare Fox. No, not. Ugh. Funtime Foxy is definitely an awesome figure. Very awesome. I, I hope this teases we're going to get the toys, animatronics, please. Please. Funko, if you're watching it, please. Give us the toy animatronics. We we need those. We need those now. We got the Nightmares. We got Funtime Foxy. Give us give us the toys. But as you can see, she comes with the other arm. And, uh, yeah. Same thing. You know, flexible fingers. Does not bend. Let us uh, put Nightmare and it together and take a look. At him. You know. Because he's the last figure. Here's the last figure. Here is Nightmare and... Oh dear lord. <laughs> Sorry about that. We had a bit of some technical difficulties because... Here's Nightmare and and this thing is huge. Well, not huge, but he's, he's big. He's quite the big figure. It's very... He's... He's tall. Yeah. Uh, just here. Let me just put him in front of. Let me even put him behind them. He's huge. But uh, yeah, going to de yeah. So him all together, he doesn't look too bad of a figure. Uh, he's very, he's very lengthy. He's he reminds me a lot of Jack Skellington because of how thin and tall. Yeah, tall he is. He looks very menacing. But here's the thing. One. He's not going to move a whole lot. If you want to put him in cool poses, that's not going to work. Because the only articulation he has are here, in his shoulders, and here, in his upper legs, I guess. But he's not going anywhere. That is, that's just not going to happen with you. Yeah. Not even his head turns. He's a very sad poopit. 
Yeah. With a smile that says, Oh God, help me. Aww. You can let you can try to have him stand by himself, but you have to put something in behind him. Yeah, even yeah. These things. Do you think these things are gonna support him? Let's see what happens. Nope. Nope. Stand. If stand. Uh, nope. Maybe put him against the wall. Yeah, it, the only way we're gonna get this guy to stand is 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 if we uh, put him against the wall. He's not going to be standing by himself, which is kind of a, kind of a big disappointment, but... Can you sit down? Uh, I don't know. Maybe... Uh, no, he, no, he can't sit. You can't make him do this. No, he can only lean against stuff. He is a very sad poop. But these legs are... Uh. He's going to stab you with them and stab you with his arms of death. Very, very a creepy figure, I must say, but... Something that is he cool? Yes. Yeah. Is he a cool figure? Yes, he's very tall and he's very menacing looking. The only thing, the, the only thing wrong with him is that being the exclusive figure to build out of them all, you know, if you get all the figures and you want, if you just want him, you're not gonna get a whole lot of out of him. He's. I'm glad they didn't release him by himself because that would have been a huge, huge disappointment. But he's not bad as the exclusive figure to get after you get them all. He's not terrible, but he could have been a lot worse. Like, he maybe he couldn't have been able to move at all. I would have liked a few more points of articulation, but he's not bad. You just need to, you know, uh, just gotta lean him against something, or maybe put a little bit of like clay on his feet, and then maybe he could move. But other than that, he's not gonna be doing a whole lot for you. If you're not into that sort of thing, okay? But but yeah, he's he's not bad, but he's. He's awesome. He's pretty cool. I still like him. Uh, Would have liked a bit more with him, but he's not terrible. Now, if I could just put him... Okay. You know, yeah. Well, yeah, that's all of the figures, and now we'll do the comparisons with the originals. The other figures. Yeah. Okay, so here's the comparison between Nightmare Freddy and... Regular Freddy. Hey, Freddy. Um, sorry about that. Okay, so the... Uh, this, I got him on the way. So... These two figures, when they look together, you can see, you know, oh, I'm happy, you know, it's daytime, so kids have some pizza, you know, to kind of threatening, but, you know, still kind of scary at night, but, you know, through this, he doesn't look too scary, but this is how every kid sees him now. That's the killer, killer robot. It's <laughs> to murder you. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, he can't, yeah. Um, I'm kind of disappointed, though, that the, uh, I wish, I sort, I'm really starting to wish that the uh, the Nightmares were just a, maybe a, a slad bigger than them, maybe just like, maybe a little taller, I don't know, but they're still good figures nonetheless, I, I'm happy with them, and next to the originals, they could see, you know, they could, you know, happy, evil, wants to serve you pizza, wants to kill you, not Torn, torn. There's so many differences. Yeah, especially in the eyes. Um, and for one thing, Freddy does not come with a baby version of him. This is his little baby, his son. That's Freddy as a baby. Um, but over the uh, who's the better figure out of the main two Freddies? I don't. I'm kind of torn. I can't really choose. Um, They're both good. I guess so. Uh, but yeah, that's the comparison between these two. As you can see how they look together. Very uh. Very nice, must say. The hats are totally different, thank goodness. But yeah, good figures. Uh, let's take a look at the Bonnie comparison. Here is the comparison of Nightmare Bonbon bon and regular Bonbon. Bon. It's Bonnie, but yeah. So as we can see, they are totally different shades of blue or purple, whatever you want to call it. And people keep complaining is he purple, is he blue? Eh, I don't care, but they're two different colors, you see. Both have purple eyes, though. And white. <laughs> yeah, um, the bow tie seems pretty identical. A little bit. There's, like, slight differences, but you can kind of see they're pretty much the same shade. Uh, one has a bunny tail, one doesn't. One has a deformed hand and foot, the other doesn't. One chest is ripped open, the other isn't. One hand's completely gone. One I isn't. just said it's deformed. It's deformed. I said hand deformed. So, that is about does it, as we can see. 
Uh, yeah. Nightmare? One, Not nightmare. One has whiskers, one doesn't. Nightmare, not nightmare. Nightmare, not nightmare. See? 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 Yeah. That's about that for them. Uh, for the bonnies. Oh, another thing I have to say. At least he came with something. He came with nothing. At least everyone else is like, just like a, a sort of accessory. Like, Nightmare Freddy has his baby. Um, the Chicas come with the cupcake or a pumpkin. The Foxies have their hooks. Which I don't really, you, you, you could claim that's not an accessory, but it's still something special, unique about him. Bonnie doesn't have, get any love. He only gets a guitar, he gets nothing. It's kind of sad. Think about it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, at least he came with something. Uh, he came with nothing, so that's kind of disappointing, but what are you going to do? So that's it for the Bonnies. Let's take a look at the Chicas. Yeah. And here is the comparison of the two Chicas. And as you can see, one's... It's pretty much the exact same. One's a nightmare, one isn't. But, um, as you can see, they both come with cupcakes. One can be detached, the other can't. Um, uh, they have a darker shade. Both have the same colored eyes. And both have teeth. That's he has about a shorter, it. He, this, the nightmare, is a bit fatter. That's true, yeah, he is a bit bigger and does have a shorter candle, but... Yeah, at least that that's about it, so not not too much difference. Uh, I just realized that one has uh, you know three toes on the feet, the other one doesn't. And uh, yeah, I gotta admit though, I love Nightmare Chica a little bit more just because of the two different colored eyes. That's really neat. Chica is just sort of has that you know that just ugh, that eek thing. I don't know. I just really like Nightmare Chica a lot more than. The original. I don't know why. It's, it's just a thing, but she is awesome. But uh, yeah, I mean, she still has that dirt effect, just like the other, except this more prominent on this one. Then again, I got these ones when they first came out, so yeah. So yeah, the chicas are. Oh wait, we have one more chica to bring up. We got. Oh no, it fell. It's okay. Do that. We have the Jacko Chica figure. Uh, if you want to see our review, we review this one separately with another GameStop exclusive. Uh, Link is in the description. Yep. Oh, let's get this up. Uh, let's move Chica out of the way. And as you can see here, the uh, these two look really cool together, like back to back. You know, daytime Halloween, or it's like the night and day almost. No, this is the night and day. This is Halloween. Yeah. This, this, it just is. It's so cool. It doesn't, I mean, I love how translucent the head is, especially, and the pumpkin. It's just really cool to have three chicas. You know, one's technically a repaint of the other, and one's more orange than yellow, but still. They're awesome figures. All of them are. And it's just really cool. It's like Chica, the little Chica Chica family. Like, had a baby, three chicks. One for Halloween, one for your nights. And one for the day. But yeah, the Chicas are really, uh, really cool. Chicas are one of my favorite animatronics from Five Nights at Freddy's, so... The, uh, the comparison here, it's really cool to have all three of these things. I like Jacko Chica better. Yeah, th it's pretty neat. Like I said, yellow, yellow, orange. That's about it for them. So, uh, let's take a look at, uh, the Foxies as a comparison. Mm-hmm. So, here are the Foxies together. And, as you can see, a big color difference. This one's more orange. This than, one's more darker. Right? Yeah, this is more crimson and more red and pink than uh, this one. Well, actually, that's a lie. This is more darker, cherrier, crimson color. Like this is, Yeah, this is more pink and peach and orange on them. But uh, they do look cool together. Uh, Foxy's hook is smaller than Nightmare, but still really, really cool. You know, night and day again. One has an eye patch, one doesn't. Oh, you can sort of kind of resemble it a little bit? I don't know. But you can see they kind of like represented the hair on Foxy's head with little wires. I thought that was kind of cool. Mm -hmm. um, the chest is still kind of busted open. Now, if you're wondering why there's silver on this, because I did that myself. Took some silver and put, put, uh, <coughs> excuse me, put um, silver on him to highlight the endoskeleton part, because I thought that it just needed to be, just needed to happen. How did you do that? I uh, just took a, uh, just took a silver sharpie and uh, put it down there if anyone's 
wondering how I did that, but yeah, they both got they both got brown pants. Again, one's darker than the other, and their legs are totally different. So yeah, uh, still, you know, mirror and night and day. Still cool though, nonetheless, to have these two. However, if I do bring in Funtime Foxy, let me get my current Foxy out of me, and bring in Funtime Foxy, as you can see. These two um, look pretty cool together. Uh, you know, you got the original, you got the brand new one from Finance Freddy's 2. Still wish we had an actual Mangle figure and not this, per se. Maybe this could have been a buildable figure, I, I don't know, but... Still, I'm happy to have a Mangle, nonetheless. Mangle. <laughs> kind of be weird. One has a tail. One doesn't. Poor Foxy can't even get himself a tail. He do she doesn't have an eye patch either. Yeah, that's true. And, uh, yeah, you know, one's super kid friendly, the other's too scary. Actually, no. This one is too scary. <laughs> yeah, I'll stop. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, these two, ver uh, these three look very cool together. And, uh, very happy, because, you know, these two, Sweetie Sweetie really loves to ship. I don't know why. My shipping can finally become real. Okay, shut up. I'm kidding. Ugh. Anyways, but yeah, that's um, that's the Foxies together. Um, really happy. And I guess let's go to the uh, buildable figures. So as we can see, here are the two buildable figures that got if you got you know, all everybody. Um, uh, yeah. Um, gotta say, Spring Shop I think is more uh, is much cooler than Nightmare Annette because of the actually because he actually can move around. Uh, Nightmare Puppet isn't bad, but it's it could have been better. Could have had extra maybe art, more articulation. Kind of disappointed that he didn't. Um, like the legs, okay, I could live with him not having leg articulation, but no elbows or head really. I don't know. But it's cool that we got like a big, like a our first big figure. I mean, look, look, he towers over uh, them all. Oh no! Ah! See, and that's another thing. Puppet falls apart very easy. Much easier than say Springtrap. Springtrap's kind of lo loose on one leg. Funny how these two actually they're looser here on the leg than here. But come on, they couldn't. Uh, they, I'm sorry, Mar Marionette should have been a little better. Could fix get fix this. Give him head articulation and give him limbs, he or joints here and here, and I'd be fine. But you know, whatever. Mm. Still, uh, still cool to see these two together, and you can see how it, the puppet would tower every over everyone else. Uh, could have been better, but yeah, Springtrap is definitely the better figure out of the two buildable ones. And uh, I agree. That's Springtrap it. Is so much better. Um, and you're, oh, I guess we can put in the other supernatural one, which is Golden Freddy. Uh, I don't know. As you can see, you know, stiff as you know, the night can be sometimes or, stiff as heck, and then this one is just perfect. So it's kind of take your pick. Which one do you think look, would look cooler on a shelf? I'm gonna just dis I'm gonna display these anyway and use them for stop motions, but. Yeah, uh, Nightmare Annette should have been better, but he's not terrible. Yeah, so I guess we'll put them all together and have our. Ah! I don't like Carol. <laughs> um, guess we'll have our final thoughts. So here we have the whole game together on uh, on the shelf or table, and uh, as you can see, they all look really nice together. And I'm really happy what Funko is doing with these figures and finds a phrase as a general. It's a great franchise, and the figures that they produce of these things are really well done. Mm -hmm. I'm really hyped for what they are, can come up with next. Maybe they can do the toys next? I really hope they do the toys next. That is one I'm really hoping for, and if not, then do Sister Location. Yes, please do Sister Location. That would be ne really neat. Uh, yeah, uh, every, all these figures here are really well done, and are all unique in their own way. Some weaker than others, but um, every so far, uh, uh, the only real disappointment I think would be uh, this guy. But other than that, it's uh, it's not bad, not bad as a whole. Anyways, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this review, 
and I uh, hope to hope you watch more of our reviews and uh, check out Sweet Tooth Sweetie's channel. She's going to be working on. Uh, check out Chef Bam and check out Lucky Pack. Check out all these people on our that we have listed on our channel and uh, check out watch more videos of us and yeah. we will. Uh, so yeah, thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next review. Bye.